Welcome. Today we're looking at the Campark V40 4K action camera. This was very kindly sent to me for an honest review. They did not ask us to say anything in particular, neither was we paid for this review. I will leave a link in the description if you want to pick this up. Before we start, if you find the video useful, a like would be much appreciated. Any questions, ask in the comment section down below and subscribe to watch more reviews. So before we dive in into the contents, let's take a look, quick um, look around the box. So as you can see, here's just some, the name there, just some specs and the camera. Here you've got dual screen, Ultra HD 4K, waterproof 360, EIS, Wi-Fi and 20 megapixel photo. So now let's take a look inside the box. So if I just open it up here, as you can see, it does divide into two parts. Got the user manual here. This just shows you how to use the camera. Oh, and here, yeah, also shows you how to use some of the mounts. It comes with some, just some uh, tips. And it does come with an app, which you could scan with the QR code here. Now let's take a look into the accessories. It does come with a dual charging port, so you can put your batteries on there and charge them at the same time. I do have one battery installed on the camera already. This is the other battery. These are some mounting tools, a micro USB cable, probably for the charging port, some more mounting tools, a lens cap, I believe, some more mounting tools. These mounting tools can connect to your bike or your helmet. It also could be used as a dash cam, so some could come for your car. This is an external microphone. I will show you the demonstration of, uh, of this later. Here's a strap which you will put on your arm. And if you're walking around with the action cam set on your helmet or if your age fits on your bike, you can just press this for photo and this for video. Some more mounting tools. These are some extra stickies, a cloth and wiring, zip ties. And these are extra straps. So now we're gonna take the camera out of this packaging here. It's got some pretty tough packaging. Move that to the side. So this is the action cam. It does come in this waterproof case which all buttons are still functional. The way to take off this waterproof case, you would get this black thing here, flick it up, and then it's got a door here, which you would pull out. If you want it to come out, there we go. And that's how you would access the camera. So now let's take a look at the camera itself. So it does have two screens. This, the front one, is a 1.4 inch LCD screen. The back one is a two inch LCD screen. Then the lens here is a 170 degree wide angle lens. It does record in 4K, 30 frames per second. This is the shutter key, there's the power button, modes button, I'm guessing that's your speaker, some ports here, which I'll open up and show you quickly if this if it wants to open there we go there's some ports there a tripod mount and then in here if it will open we have the battery and your sd card holder i have the 64 gigabyte sandisk extreme micro sdu3 card i'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to pick this up same as same as me this is what I'll be using for my footage. 
put the battery back in there, close it up. So that's the camera. So now let's take a look at the actual camera itself switched on. So let's press the power button. The reason I brought it really close in is I wanted to see if you could hear the chime then when you switch it on because it does have a little chime to it. So let's look here. As you can see, it is recording. This is in the video part of the camera. It, does, it is using 4K 30 frames per second. That that icon there shows you it's in video mode. That is the built-in microphone being used. Battery, settings button, and I'm pretty sure that is uh, how you check your files and videos you have recorded. Yeah, that will be for that. The screen is a bit hard to click off of. There we go. So if we do press this button up here, it does change the mode to a picture state as you can tell by this icon being changed. And to change it back, all you need to do is press this. And there you go. It goes back to the video. So if we press the settings button here, you can change your video resolution by clicking this here. So if you press that, as you can see, you've got three there and three there. So six in total. All you have to do is swipe, swipe up, and you get different resolutions. And if you go back, voice record, this is if you want your voice to be recorded, which I have it on. Then if we go here, you have EIS, which is it, Electronic Image Stabilizer. So if you have shaky hands, for example, you, you'll be fine if you put that on. Loop record, this can be used as a dash cam, which this loop record goes up to five minutes. Time lapse, fast motion, wind noise reduction. So if it's a very windy day, just put that on. Then if we go back on the settings here, as you can see, sounds. Now this is the shutter key. When you press it, it'll have a noise. Booting up, it has that chime and beeping when I'm pressing around the screen. I don't know if you can hear, but it's beeping. Microphone. This is the two microphone selections you have. You have the external one, which we saw in the accessories, or the built-in one, which we are currently using. I'll show, but I'll demonstrate both further on. These are just some video preferences. Date and time, can have a date. So this is screensaver. So if you're idle for a bit, it'll just save your screen and um, go to, into sleep mode. Auto power off, this is where let me go back to it. This is where it, you could have a set time. So even if you're idle or something, it'll just t turn off automatically so it doesn't waste battery. Angle. This is your lens settings. These are just some more settings here. As you can see, language, format card, system, all that. And then this is your recording state. So to activate the front screen, what you would do is turn on the camera then now it's on this M button here you would hold this down for two seconds and as you can see the this screen's on blank which means as you can see the front screen has been turned on so now I've switched over to the action cam footage and I'm recording in 4k 30 frames per second right now I have EIS off and I'm using the built-in microphone I will jog to the end of that path and show you what EIS looks like off. So now I'm going to show you jogging with EIS on and I'm using the external mic now. In conclusion, I really like this camera, as I like the compact and small size it has, also some of the good features it brings with it. Link in the description if you want to pick this up. I will also link the SD card down in the description as well, just in case you want to pick that up. If you found the video useful, a like would be much appreciated.
and subscribe for more reviews. See you in the next video.